Janine from Klein has a question about stubborn stains. Yeah, she's dealing with this discoloration on her house here, Tom. Yeah, I don't. You can't really see it real clear here, but she has sent us another picture. Let me bring the other picture up for us here. Da, 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 da. I got to push this button right here, and there you go. That zooms in in a little closer. You can see it's on there. She says, uh, "I've been told by a contractor that this black discolorating stain on the smooth light gray concrete accents on the front of my home cannot be cleaned and must be painted over." Does that sound right, or is there something she can use to clean that, Tom? It might be right. She, it might have to be painted, and this is going to be a maintenance thing. Do you see how those lines are? We call that tiger striping. You get that on gutter systems. You get that anywhere where water will kind of just kind of roll over, mm -hmm, and you'll see mm -hmm. the tiger striping. It's for some reason the water wants to go down those dark areas there, probably just because of a little imperfection on the top, nothing you can really do anything about. Mm. And so it grows that mildew and stains it. Now, you can try, and I would try something simple, and I call it Simple Green. It's a cleaning product. If you wanted to get up there and scrub it and see if it comes off and looks brand new on just one of those little blocks, great. If it doesn't, you're still gonna have to wash it anyway, and then go ahead and put new paint on there to give it that crisp look. But yeah, that's probably going to be part of what's going to happen. And a lot of that is, and people don't realize this in the Houston area, a lot of that is pollution in the air that's creating that striping on a lot of these different products that we have on the outside of our home. Uh, it is very pro uh, prevalent right now in the air, as well as the pollen we go through. We just went through a very heavy pollen season, still kind of going through it. And then you get other, like the freezes and the temperature changes and the, and the heavy rains. So that's always gonna be a maintenance if you want it to look crisp. So a good paint job would probably give her the look that she probably is looking for. And that's that crisp, clean look. It's a beautiful Tom, house. It, it is beautiful. I love that kind of, it's almost a Georgian kind of thing going on there. Mm -hmm. I like it. Um, I, I'm curious though, isn't this something that like somebody like a, a, a soft wash or something could do? Like like maybe Sunny Pressure Washing could do Well, we do could get Sunny get out there and, and he yeah. might be able to get it off with his chemicals. I got no problem with that, but I would want to see if that is really going to look as crisp as she wants it to. So if I called Matt out, I say, hey, Matt, come over to my house. I got this. Let's just say I was her. And I said, do you think you can make that look really crisp and super clean? And I, and I would say, can you just clean a little area to see what it looks like? He probably could just take that little area and give it one of his chemical washes and spray, spray it off real quick to see if it's going to be to her satisfaction. Because I don't think do something that's not exactly how the client would want it so we'll see what happens either way someone like matt's going to have to clean it anyway before it's painted you still got to get all the dirt and stuff off i just don't know how crisp it's going to look and i think in the long run if she wants something to look like it does in that first picture where it looked really clean the paint might be the answer and it might because that's a stucco what's on there and stucco needs to be painted and it might be a fact that it needs a little more paint right now well, whatever the answer, Tom will help you. Click on that blue Ask Tom button and uh, we'll f fill out the form and send pictures like Janine did. And that helps us figure out better, you know, what, what the best solution is going to be for you, whether it's good news or not so good news. And I guess well, it's not if, bad news having a little paint. That's pretty simple no, and inexpensive. No, to paint. exactly. Well, that's true. <laughs> Or that's to have true, Matt I, come out and say, look, voila. I mean, either way, you're going to pay somebody. Right. So. Well, and, well the, the point is, is that we're going to make, Tom's not going to steer you wrong. He'll, he'll help yeah. you make a good decision to make your home safer, more energy efficient, or whatever it is, just a, a happier place to be. And then we'll take it because we do one of these every day. Tom wants a new one up every day. So we do. We put post one every day at homeshowradio.com, our Facebook page, and you'll find them on our YouTube channel, too.